about a year ago, we found out that Isabel had scoliosis. Uh, it's a curvature of the spine. So spines always curve going down the back, but hers curved the wrong way. And it's common. It like affects 3 million people a year. And most of them are between the age of 10 and 12 girls. We went to an orthopedic surgeon and they recommended a nighttime brace. So what the brace does, it kind of holds the curve in place. Okay, turn. But our appointment two months ago was devastating. Her curve has progressed even though she's wearing a brace. So the nighttime bracing is not working. Her curve has, is an aggressive curve is what they called it. It's great. <laughs> So not only does she wear a nighttime brace, but she also has to wear a daytime brace now, meaning that she has to wear her brace to school. In the morning, she has a few minutes where she can shower and brush her teeth and stuff, and then we put this brace on her. The doctor basically says this is the only thing that he can do to stop the curve is to put her in this brace. Wearing the daytime brace is hard. Um, because I look bigger and I can't do as much, and I can't do as much. And it's hard emotionally because it's horrible wearing the daytime brace. It hurts all over, it like bruises, and it squeezes on me, and it hurts. It's awful. It's smaller than it was before. I don't know if that means anything to you. So she wears clothes that try and hides it, so she doesn't show, because, she, she, you know, when you're a middle school girl, you don't want to stand out for being something different. She's a pretty amazing, resilient kid, and this is super hard on her. All right, you're good. Give us a hug. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're squishing me. <laughs>